today we will see exist operator in SQL. Exist operator is used to check the existence for any record in a subquery. In main query we have where exist and then subquery. If subquery returns true for at least one record it means exist is satisfied and we will get the resultant output commonly used with correlated subqueries always used with where clause exist operator is used right after the where syntax says select number of columns from table name where exists here comes the subquery with select list of columns from subquery table where condition is optional group by is optional and at the end we can have order by are you confused yes because you must be having questions now exist is equals to n is it or which is better exist or in clause when should i use exist and when in exist versus in provides the clear identification of the working of both of them let us see one by one evaluates true or false this is exists what it is doing exists will not compare all values of the subquery whereas in compares all the values of the subqueries coming from execution exists will stop the engine or scanning from engine when it finds at least a single match whereas in operator scans all the rows fetched from subquery it will check each and every row of the subquery result set exist is faster than in but only when the result set of the subquery is huge whereas in will be faster than exist when result set is small exist can compare everything with null if even if your subquery is returning null and have the values in the table which matches the conditions then the up outer query will execute whereas if we have in operator and subquery returns null it means outer query automatically will return null you are not yet clear with all these concepts isn't it let us see why our homework sheet and then we will go back to the database in our homework sheet we have two tables four wheeler two wheeler i want to select the records from my four wheeler table whose vehicle id is equal to the vehicle four id in two wheeler table this is the related columns we normally have to relate two tables and where vehicle color is black now if logically we see first of all our subquery will search for the vehicle 4 id equal to vehicle id how many such records are there this vehicle id is equal to two vehicle 4 ids in two wheeler table and we have Mahindra record. This is equal to the vehicle four ID here. Now this much is done. After that, which record will be selected where vehicle color is black? 
this record I will select this one now, this sub query will return true because my both conditions are satisfied and I have at least a single record out of it corresponding to this to how many records we do have from outer query outer queries are four below query from where we want to select star now this two from sub query matches with only this two in the four wheeler table so select star will return me this result this is my result what sub query is checked Subquery has checked the vehicle ID equal to vehicle 4 ID and after that it checked vehicle color should be black. If both the conditions are met, we will get a single at least. Exist need only a, only a single record to send the true signal to the outer query. As soon as the true signal goes, it will select all these records because we want to select star. All the records from the outer table. Want to do this practically? Let us go and do it. We have both the tables ready with us in the database. Select star from four wheeler. See the data first. Here comes the data exactly same that we have in home worksheet. Select star from two wheeler. Run it. Exactly same data as we have in home worksheet. Now we can proceed with what we wanted. What we wanted exactly is, I want to select all records from my four-wheeler table where there exists a single, there is existence of single record in two-wheeler. Here comes our keyword. Exists. Where exists? In the subquery. Let us write down the subquery. Where exist any record where vehicle color let us say we will want this from which table uh, second table two wheeler and we decided to check two conditions vehicle id is equals to vehicle 4 id and forgot to keep the where keyword now fine and vehicle color in two wheeler is black this is all we needed vehicle id is a column in four wheeler table so here it becomes a correlated query correlated sub query we have already seen that those who missed can follow the subscription and you will get all the videos in this channel now select anything from two wheeler where vehicle id equals to vehicle four id of two wheeler these are the related columns we are comparing and vehicle color is black let us run this query run exactly what we have discussed in this this is how exist works exist will give you all the results from outer query by only checking whether there are some records exist or not from the sub query only a single record is sufficient to trigger the true from exist let us say I don't want this condition. Promote it. Now I run it. What it will return. 
all of them. Why? Because here we have colors where it is black. There exists some records where color is black. It means true is triggered and without any condition with the outer table. There is no correlated queries there. So whenever true is triggered, select star from four wheeler will result in all the records. Isn't it? Now let us check. We have already seen the difference between in and uh, exist but theoretically do you want to see it practically let us go ahead now here if i use where we where my color column is in select vehicle color from two wheeler now i have already kept a condition here instead of vehicle color let us select vehicle four id and here let us keep vehicle id now what does the statement says this statement says select the vehicle four ids from two wheeler where vehicle color is black and return this vehicle id based on this condition only four wheeler will return the values here we go it return us the same first result that we have seen with the help of exists. Now if I don't keep here this, I keep only vehicle color and I want color here. If I run this, it gives me only single record have you noticed it i am selecting the vehicle color from two wheeler where vehicle color is black how many black records we have two honda and harley davidson but what is happening here is this color is compared with the color in vehicle 4. We have only single record for this. Hence this is return. Okay. Instead of in I put exist here. Let us see how the results vary. Run it. All the records. Because our single record is triggering the true output out of this sub query. Yes, we have at least one record where color is black. This much is sufficient to run the outer query. If anything from the inner query is not satisfying the conditions, nothing will be returned from sub query. It means it is false. False means it will not trigger the outer query. Now, if I write here orange. There is no record with color orange. So this should not give me any result. This is how exist works. One point we have seen is exist deals with the null but in cannot deal with the null. Can we see it? Why not? We have vehicle 4 ID null into wheel. We'll Select with the help of this. Vehicle 4 ID is null. I want to select the vehicle color where two wheeler has vehicle 4 ID as null. This will give me output as all the records because true is triggered. Now, if the same query is tried with n, what it will return?
instead of this i will write here color these are the colors Bye-bye.